It's me, Spy Vanessa here, and welcome back to another wonderful Instagram live interview for all of you. Um, I hope you are doing well, especially that it's kind of around the back to school time. I hope you all have been having good first days or good first weeks at least. Um, so I hope you all have been doing well and trying to stay positive and maintain a positive and happy and grateful mindset is the best way to put it. But I'm very, very excited for today's guest because my guest today is actually the CEO of Rare Breed Cosmetics and she's only 15 years old, which is so, so crazy. And her name is Nyla Bethay. So I'm gonna be bringing her on to this interview today and asking her about her business, how did you come up with the idea? Because not every teenager just comes up with a, bus with a business idea. Just like that, there needs to be some kind of journey behind it. So I'm definitely gonna be looking into how she started. So I'm going to wait for her to send in her request and then I'll be sure to bring her on and then we can get started. But otherwise, I'm very, very excited. I hope you have been doing well. Um, I just went back to school today. I actually had a very, very good day. So that is, that is, that's a big thumbs up for me. So I'll be obviously going back for the whole week. So fingers crossed everything will run smoothly and that school will kind of be a bit more welcoming towards all the students um, due to what, everything that's been kind of happening over lockdown. But I'm gonna bring her on to this interview now and then we can get straight into it. Hello. Hello! How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I love your hair by the way. The whole hairstyle is giving me some amazing vibes. Thank you for that. Just th thank you for being here. First of all, thank you for being here. Oh, no worries. Um, so, can you introduce yourself to those who don't know who you are and what you do? So, hi everybody. My name is Nyla Bethe. I am the 15-year-old CEO of Rare Beauty Cosmetics. Some of the products that I sell range from lip glosses to lip oils to lip scrubs and so much more in the future. Not only do I want to sell lip glosses, but I want to continue to inspire other young girls to let them know that they're beautiful and to love who God made them to be. So that's why I started Red Bean. I mean, that is so amazing. That kind of just smoothly goes on to my first question, which is when did you create um, your business and why did you create it? Well, we launched in December of 2019. So December 1st is our first year anniversary. And why, what, was the next, what was the second question? Um, why did you create it? How did you come up with the idea? Okay, well, I was actually in the cafeteria at school and I had the idea to start a lip gloss line. So that's how it started. And my mom came up with the name. She was praying one day and God gave her the name Rare Breed Cosmetics. Oh, wow. Because I was also thinking, like, what is the meaning behind the name or why is it that name specifically? Because um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a it's a very unique name because with cosmetic lines, you usually just have it after someone's name or their surname um, or whatever it is. So... Can you go a bit more in depth about what like the three individual words mean and why they actually make the business what it is? Okay, well, Rare Cosmetics means to be yourself, love who you are, and so it means that we're rare, we're different, we were born to stand out. So that's why our motto is be different, stand out. So Rare Breed is we're a different breed, we're not like everyone else, and cosmetics comes along with the lip gloss. I mean, that is so amazing. And yeah, just trying to promote just uniqueness and just trying to be yourself is so, so important, especially with so many makeup brands or cosmetic brands. They're always trying to promote for everyone to look the same almost, it feels like. But with your brand, it's completely different because we're trying to stand out and yeah, just show someone that they can just be who they are and not kind of go along with these beauty standards that we've kind of created in society, I feel like. So just thank you for doing what you do because it's absolutely um, brilliant what you're doing um, right now. And you'll probably achieve so, so much more um, in the future as well. So I hope. Um, I hope so as well. We can all see the future, a bright future for you in the future as well. So there's no, there's no worries about that one. Um, but the next question is what keeps you motivated? 
because we are all humans at the end of the day we all do have hard days and especially with business owners or ceos like yourself business might be hard one day or maybe you don't have any new ideas you kind of had that creative block is what people say so what keeps you motivated to keep moving forward and never giving up um i think it would be the fact that i know that the possibilities are endless so i can do whatever i put my mind to if i want to if i want to do something one day i know i have the I know I have the ability to do it. So I think that keeps me motivated, but also the fact that there's other young people who are doing what I want to do. Like there's other young entrepreneurs who whose brand is big. They're they're inspiring, but they also have an amazing product. So that's what something that keeps me motivated. Just those role models kind of pushing you forward as well. And that is so amazing. I know you are 15, so I think you're like, well you you're probably like 2 years older than me or like a few like a couple months over the I'm older than me but still at your young age and you kind of just know that you can put your mind to anything is so amazing and that's when you can just keep teaching more young people that if you have the right mindset you really can achieve anything it doesn't matter what other people tell you or what maybe your self critic tells you you can still achieve anything that you want so that is um so so amazing So more about the cosmetics rather than what's behind the brand is how do you make your lip glosses or the cosmetics? It's basically all a science. So once you figure out your oils, once you figure out your pigments and if you want scents, that's how everything comes together. Of course I can't give everything, but it's basically a science. Basically science. I'm guessing quite a lot of research went into that. How long did it take for you to kind of figure out how to create the actual product itself? Um well my mom brought me the stuff that I needed for Christmas and I I went in the kitchen like I was experimenting it took me almost a year to figure out like what what works and what doesn't so it was a very long process but patience and just passion basically because I if I wasn't passionate about it I would not have waited a year to figure mm. out patience and passion that is so so powerful the two p's um we should all keep remembering that to just be patient in our journeys but a year like i know i'm maybe not the most patient person so a year that is a lot of dedication <laughs> a lot of dedication so i give you all of the praise just for having that dedication and obviously having that passion to keep moving forward um but luckily you did end up creating it and getting the um correct final result in the end and obviously um, your hard work has paid off so that is all what matters to be honest so you're kind of talking about what kind of message you want to share um through your cosmetics brand so do you have a certain ethos for the brand or like a slogan or what is what kind of message do you want to share through what you do Okay, so our little slogan that we have is "Be different, stand out." And so, basically, we want everyone to know that it's okay to be different. It's okay to be yourself. It's okay to not always fit in. We want you to stand out. We want you to love who you are. So that's what our slogan is. That is, I mean, everyone, just just put a little clapping emoji in the comments because everything you're saying right now is just so so powerful. Um, and yeah, just more people need to hear it. I feel like. because especially in the 21st century because we have social media and even though it's one of the most brilliant platforms that you can use to put a business out there it's still very degrading for a lot of young people also because if you're following a bunch of people that are making you feel more insecure about yourself or if you're not going to want to stand out you want you going you're going to want to look like everyone else and that's <laughs> what we're trying to make you not do because you're born uniquely and you're born as an individual so try and own that and just yeah just be yourself and embrace the fact that you are different to everyone else um i think is the most important thing thank you everyone who's spamming the comments with the clapping emojis um definitely just kind of praising what you're saying over and over again um mm-hmm. so have you actually had any like experiences where people haven't accepted you because you are unique um that's a very good question I went in school. I'm very different. Like I'm not quiet. My personality is very like <laughs> I mean, you're very outspoken. So that's definitely a good thing anyways. Mhm. And at school, I'm I like I down my personality and I I'm quiet because I don't necessarily fit in my my 
I don't know what you would call it, my interests are not the same as everyone else's. Mm. So I had difficulties making friends and keeping friends at school. So I would say that that was a situation where people didn't really see the differences in me and them. But that's basically where the brand came from. I'm very different. My, my thought process, my everything is different. So that's basically where the brand came from. I mean, I can totally relate to you. When I was in primary school, which I don't really know what the equivalent is in the USA or in the States, but when I was in primary school, when I was nine or 10, everyone's reading like the children's books or like um, fictional books. And I'm here reading like a business book. So yes. my mindset was definitely like years over ahead of my whole classroom. So I feel like it was still hard to kind of adapt to their environment rather than them learning from us. Unfortunately, it is like that because if you kind of are an outcast, you do or you are expected to kind of smooth back into everyone else and not them learning from you, unfortunately. So hopefully we can change that, I guess, stereotype over the years or um, as we move into the future. But it doesn't even matter if your personality is too much for them to handle because they know that you are very wise beyond your years. And Thank sometimes you. people find that you're very welcome. Sometimes people find that as intimidating sometimes because they don't really know or that's different to them because they're probably not surrounded by people who are as positive or who as or who are as um, wise as well. So unfortunately, we need to just keep telling the younger generation to not be as negative um, mm -hmm. and to try and see things from a more a positive light, as you may say. So kind of moving away from your brand and your business and just you in general, um, what are your thoughts on Black Lives Matter and what should we be doing to constantly share the message and spread the message? Well, that's a very touchy subject because for me, I know I was kind of stressed out around the whole George Floyd situation because not only is it wrong, but you never know. That could be someone in your family. That could mm. be dad, that could be your uncle. So that kind of stressed me out because I am black. I have a black family, and I don't understand racism a little bit because for I love everybody. Like why can't everybody else love everybody? So it doesn't really make sense to me. But I think the best thing that we can do is continue to bring awareness to it, but also pray because that's the only way we can get to a better place. Mm, I mean, and exactly what you're saying, it's just there's no logic behind racism. Like, how can you care so much about some the color of someone else's skin? It's just how can you just put that much effort into it? It just doesn't, just like, the, the dots don't connect is the, <laughs> is the most simple way of saying it. But it's really heartbreaking almost because obviously you are a black girl and the people around you that that kind of brings you up with a bit of a fear as well when you leave the house and that it shouldn't even be like that in the world we live in exactly. um so we just need to con constantly keep telling people that black lives still matter they have always mattered but just they, in the eyes of the system they don't matter or they are less valid compared to other races mm -hmm. um so we just need to keep telling people that this is a moment in time not a movement in time just because of Black Lives Matter and also because of the death of George Floyd that almost just created a really big raise in the movement and that's why you had protests worldwide around the globe but then now people aren't posting about it as much as they were last month or in June so we need to just keep telling people to keep posting about it keep spreading the message as well also so thank you for sharing that and kind of being honest with us as well because I know this is a very sensitive subject to a lot of people so thank you for sharing that also so yeah. um, you, thank you so the final question is what do you want to achieve in the future what are some of your goals that you'd like to achieve whether it be just for you or for the business Okay, so some of my goals for Rare Breed that I want to achieve is I absolutely want my products to be in stores like Target, Sephora, Ulta. So that's something that I want to, that I want to achieve. But recently, I just realized that I want to write a book like about youth entrepreneurship, about how to start a business, but also incorporate the loving yourself and being yourself in the book. So that's something that I want to start working on. 
I cannot wait for that. Oh my god, have you already started writing or is that is that secret information? <laughs> I just had this idea like earlier this week, but I have thought of a name that I want the book to be. I mean, don't share the name yet. We'll have to find I out when it when it when it's officially done, but that is so so amazing and I feel like writing, I mean, we already know that you're patient. It took you a oh. year to, to, well, I mean, if you if it, if it took you a year to create the substance or the ingredients for your business, we know that you can still create a book no matter how long it's going to take. Because we're going to be patient for you to see the final product of what this book is going to be. But that's so, so amazing. And speaking of like books, have you read any books like based around business that really helped you grow yours? Yes, I'm actually reading a book now. That's what gave me that. Idea. Kayla Omer, she um, she has a she has a business, a lemonade business. She started out from a lemonade stand. Now she's in hundreds and hundreds of stores around the wow. world. And so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to write my book because I'm very inspired about it. I mean, that's amazing. So we can definitely, like everyone who's watching this right, either right now live or watching it on replay, we can all definitely agree that you are going or your brand is going to be on the big billboards. It's going to be in all of the high-end stores. So when we walk in, we're going to see that billboard or we're going to see that in the shop and be like, I'm empowered to be myself and not to be like everyone else or the standard stereotype that we're meant to live up to when we shouldn't be. So that was actually the final question. But if anyone else has any questions who are on the live right now, please leave them down below and I'll be sure to select your question or just read it out so that Nyla can answer it. But um, are there any final words you'd like to say or any inspirational words you'd like to give the viewers? No, well, I do have one. <laughs> Continue to do this um, live interviews, continue to do the inspiring Vanessa brand because I really enjoy it. I love what you're doing. Thank and I you. Difference one day. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad you're enjoying them. We kind of started like the Instagram lives over lockdown. I feel mm -hmm. like I didn't do as many Instagram lives so often as I am like doing them now. But I'm very, very glad that you are enjoying them. And also thank you for being my guest um, once again. Have you um, gone back to school yet? Yes, I actually started last week, but here oh. the holiday, so we didn't have school today. Oh, how was your how's your first day? How was it like for you transitioning from quarantine back to school? Well, I'm still online school because down here coronavirus is still kind of Oh, okay. I'm still online. I like online school better than regular school, but it was kind of stressful because I had homework on the first day and a test on the first week. So it was kind of stressful. Ooh. I'm working through it. <laughs> working through it. I mean, you've already got a very strong mindset. So we're, we're, we're all um, believing in you. And we're all rooting for you as well. Um, so one question from unapologetic.multiethnic, a very cool username. And they said, Nyla, what advice would you give to youth who are struggling with self-love? Okay, well, something that I had to do physically, I never really had any physical insecurities, but like I said, my personality, I would always dim my personality. I would never show people like who I really am. So something that I had to do is I had to go in the Bible and I had to read the book of Ephesians and it talks about all of all things self-worth like I am chosen I am loved I'm his masterpiece so that's something that I would do I would sit down read it and see what God says about you mm. I mean it's all about affirmations they are so so important and so powerful because when you just read that in like read that for yourself and also like into existence or whatever you want to say it is that's going to like that's going to create your self-love that's going to start bringing it back up so affirmations are a very very big thing and also to everyone who is watching self-love or lack of self-love comes in different shapes and sizes so if someone may not be insecure about their physical features they might be insecure about their personality or about their characteristics so always be keeping that in mind and don't see someone's insecurities as invalid because, for example, if they're your beauty standard and they say they're insecure, don't just ignore them or not take that in because every type of insecurity is valid and can be helped and can 
be improved. So just to put that out there so everyone can try and understand that as well. So but, another question, oh, sorry, go on. <laughs> thing is, everyone has an insecurity, so don't mm-hmm. feel like different. Don't feel like you're the only one going through it because everyone has it, whether they're at the top or at the, at the bottom. Everyone has insecurity, so don't feel like you're alone. Definitely. Never feel like you're alone because we are all pretty much the same on the inside. We just don't really realise it because not many of us share what we think about or what we think of ourselves most of the time. So always remember that um, as well. So another question is, where do you want to see your products in the future? Like I said, well, another thing is I want to continue to work with scientists. That's something that I'm excited to do. But like I said, I want to have my products in Target, Ulta, Sephora and stuff like that. I mean, I can, as I said before, definitely see them in all of those different stores. So we're very, very excited for you to see that big brand new coming up or that big opportunity for you and just to blow up, basically. We'll see your face everywhere. And you've got a lovely smile, by the way. Your smile is just very, very contagious. (laughs) You're very, very welcome. So that was actually the final question. Um, Do you have any advice for a young person who's going back to school but they're kind of struggling about how to kind of get back to normal or they don't really know who to hang out with anymore. What advice would you have to them if they're having struggles, for example, like how you did with their personality? Well, I would say don't be afraid to meet new people. Don't If the, if the people you talked to before quarantine, they're not the same, don't be afraid to meet new people. Start talking to new people. Introduce yourself to new people. Don't don't limit yourself to just the same people open up and be more expressive and meet new Mm. people continue to show people who you are and just hang around people who want to be around you don't Mm. force yourself to be around people who don't want to be around very very true and very powerful pieces of advice so thank you for sharing that as well and you can just be just openly be yourself is the best way of saying it just openly be yourself and the people who will love you for who you are will just come to you you don't have to you don't have to go over to them if that makes sense so just always keep that in mind and pick your friends wisely and just make sure that who you're surrounding yourself with is positive and that you're not going to be or you or don't put your positive mindset around negative people if that makes sense because then that's going to start wearing off on you and we don't want that because if you're positive you need to stay like that stay grateful and stay positive and keep putting a smile on your face because that is going to go a really really long way whether you think it now or maybe you don't so that was the final kind of question or piece of advice that you're going to give but um thank you so much for being my guest today you were so so wonderful you gave so much amazing pieces of advice um where can we find you on social media and also what is the website for the rare breed cosmetics brand okay so you can find me on facebook and instagram at rare breed underscore cosmetics and my website is www.rarebreedcosmetics.com and it's also in the link and it's all, the link is also in my instagram bio so you can find it there Well, thank you so much, everybody. Go and follow the brand. It is absolutely amazing. And also you can see that the founder, the CEO, is even more of an amazing person than the products as well. It's just got an all around great message behind it. So always keep that in mind. But once again, thank you for being my guest today. And thank you for being your amazing self. Keep doing what you're doing and sharing the self love. Just everything that you're doing just keep doing it and really just keep on going and never let anyone make you think that you should change because you are absolutely amazing just the way you are we can't wait to see you and your brand on all the different stores and just seeing you just get to the place that you want to be and you envision yourself to be at thank you so much you're so so welcome i'll speak to you soon okay thank you bye Okay, so that is the end of this interview. I hope you all did enjoy it. Um, Make sure to go and follow Rare Breed Cosmetics on all their social media platforms and go and purchase some of their products to go and support Nyla on the website. I'll just pin it over here, which is www.rarebreedcosmetics.com. It's just right over there. Maybe fortunately some replay it won't come up, but go and check out the website and go and support her because she is obviously a ray of sunshine and she is so so lovely um thank you to those who did send in your questions and who did give us a little emoji spam in the comments box it's so great to see you guys support 
both of us as well so thank you so so much um if you haven't already checked out my instagram platform and also my youtube channel it's inspiring vanessa on all social medias and if you don't already know i have a talk show on amazon prime um it's called the inspiring vanessa show and if you haven't watched the three episodes that we have up there go and check them out and make sure to leave a review there but otherwise i'll be speaking to you all soon Stay tuned for more interviews with more incredible people coming up. I'll see you all later. Bye, everyone. Thank you for tuning in.